everyone. I am Kate Warren, Director of Global Recruitment Services at DevEx, and welcome to my weekly Career Matters video blog. So this week, I got a lot of questions from uh, recent graduates looking to get that first job in the field. Uh, being May, it's a time of graduation. A lot of students are very excited about finishing their studies, but also a little apprehensive about how to break into the international development field and, and not quite sure how to get started. And so I had a couple of questions. First was from at Suzanne Hedberg, who says, Hi, how do you get that first job in the field? I'll soon get a degree and doing an internship at UNDP. Uh, and then another questioner member asked, uh, at Eris to uh, B-O-H-O-V, <laughs> asked, I have a degree in development studies and one year's experience. Is it possible to get a job abroad with my qualifications? Um, so these are great questions and one that every international development professional ask at some point in their career uh, as kind of that proverbial uh, chicken the egg. So how do you ever get that first experience of every job you see is requires previous field experience? Um, so there are a few ways to break in and I'll give you a few tips uh, and then I encourage any of you who have done this before to leave your tips uh, for our members in the comment section below. So the first tip I would say is just volunteering. There are a lot of great volunteer experiences, uh, opportunities out there their VSO, Peace for UN Volunteers, there's really dozens of them, and check out DevX where we have some articles about the different volunteering opportunities. But these programs give you great hands-on, on-the-ground training and skills that can really help build up your resume. Uh, they aren't silver bullets, so don't expect that you can all of a sudden go straight into a field job, but they are a great training ground for international development professionals. Uh, in addition to the skills and experience you get on the ground, you also get tapped into a great network of contacts that can really help you with your job search later. Um, so be sure to really try to build those relationships while you're in the field. And, and then a lot of these groups have a really strong alumni network as well that can really help you throughout your career. Um, while you're doing a volunteership, be sure to look at the skills that are required of the jobs that you hope to land in the future and try to get those skills so you can really put them on your resume, even if you have to, uh, you know, take on extra duties or, or volunteer for even additional assignments within your uh, volunteer program. That's a really important thing to focus on. Uh, the next tip I would say is just moving there. Pick a country based on if you have language experience, maybe you've traveled there before, or just have a few friends that are living there on the ground that can help you get your, your feet off the ground. Go there and knock on doors. It's really uh, pretty easy to break into that expat community once you're on the ground. It can be pretty tight-knit and they hang out in the same places. Um, so as long as you know maybe one person, they can help introduce you around and you can really get connected fairly quickly. And you knock on doors, different organizations, NGOs, maybe focus on the smaller ones because they tend to be a little bit overworked uh, and volunteer your services. and and. Give them some tangible ways that you can help so that they don't have to think of jobs for you. Um, but be there on the ground and just become indispensable to the organization. So who knows, they might hire you on as a full-time staff. And um, if not that, you've built up some great experience and, again, a network of contacts that can help you maybe get that, that next position. So it's a little bit of a gutsy move, but uh, I've definitely talked to people who have done this, made that kind of leap of faith, and it's paid out for them. So. Um, the next thing would be to really just start at the home office. Don't try to get that first job in the field. It's, it's really difficult to get a field job. Uh, I think a lot of people before they break into international development assume that uh, a field job might be your first stop, uh, thinking, oh, well, I'm young, I can move around, I don't have a family, I'm very flexible. Um, but it's kind of the reverse. You actually often get your start in a home office position, you know, backstopping projects, helping to manage them from a home office. Uh, and then when you build up experience and expertise, then you get to get placed in the field. It is very expensive to send people overseas when you think about there's an expat salary and there's housing allowances as well as other benefits. And so it's often more economical to just hire a local staff. Uh, and so those overseas positions are really reserved for the highest level of expertise. So start out in the home office. Don't be shy about that. You might get some travel opportunities and it'll really help position you to, to be placed in the field um, at a later date. Um, the next one I would say is uh, you're probably going to need to get a graduate degree. Um, both of the members that asked these questions uh, didn't specify whether or not their recent degree was a, of a graduate level or not, but pretty much any field position you will need to get a master's or higher level degree. Um, but I don't recommend going straight into a graduate program from undergrad because if you come out still with no experience, 
it really won't put you in any better position. So take a few years, get some work experience, you know, work in a home office, do a volunteer program, then go back to graduate school and, and try to pick a program that will give you some practical on the ground development experience. A lot of programs provide internships or some kind of practicum or coursework where you are doing the project in the field. Um, so look at programs that will give you that kind of experience that will help bolster your resume for when you graduate. Um, I'd also say don't just focus on the big name organizations. So a lot of people, you know, go after those names that they recognize and they know, and they have strong reputation, uh, and, and they kind of overlook those little guys. But the problem is, is a lot of people are going after those big name organizations, so there's a lot of competition. But there's a lot of smaller groups that are doing great work and, uh, you know, will give you that really, the same experience, uh, same practical experience a larger organization might. And another benefit is sometimes you actually get even more responsibility. In a smaller group, they just don't have as many hands on. So, uh, you might get some additional responsibility that you might have to wait until later in your career at one of the larger organizations. So, so don't dismiss those. Um, and then finally, yeah, just be realistic and open. So getting that first job in the field is really challenging. Uh, it won't happen without a lot of work and tenacity on your part, so you need to be prepared to do that. Um, and also just be open and flexible. If you are holding out for that perfect dream job, it might you know never come or it might take a while to come. And in the meantime, you could have been getting some really good practical skills and experience in the you know, almost dream job uh, uh, that will help better position you for that dream job, job down the road. And, um, and again, you never know. Things can change. Sometimes people start out uh, working in uh, you know, one sector, and they thought they wanted to work in a different one, but they find out that they really love it. So you know, just being really open and flexible to the opportunities that come is uh, a crucial strategy to, to getting that first job. So uh, thank you for joining me for my Careers Matter blog, and I hope that you uh, read some more of the advice that we have on devx.com. And again, if you have any advice for our members here about how to get that first field job, please feel free to leave them in the comments. All right, thank you.